Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my job and what I do for a living and what working on campus is like. Someone asked me to talk about this a few months ago and I also just celebrated my one year anniversary at my job on Friday. I posted a picture with this certificate that they gave me for my one year on my Instagram and I got a few questions after that post as well. So in this video I'm going to clear up some questions that people have had and I'm just going to be honest about my experiences working on campus. But just as a disclaimer, these are just my experiences. Other people have different experiences. Thankfully my experiences have been pretty positive so far but I know that not everyone has positive experiences working on campus. I already made a video about how to get a job on campus and I talked a little bit about how I got my job on campus. For those of you that haven't watched that video, basically I knew that I wanted to work on campus when I was a freshman and I applied to dozens and dozens of jobs on campus. I don't think I got any interviews my first year of college and then I think I interviewed at five different on-campus shops before I started my job now. And for those of you that don't know, I work at SJSU Associated Students Transportation Solutions which is the Transportation Demand Management Organization at SJSU. So we pretty much do everything except for parking. We do public transit, cycling, carpooling, and other things like that. I don't know if I've ever talked about this in any other videos, but the first interview that I had out of the five that I got was actually at Transportation Solutions in between my freshman year of college and my sophomore year of college and I actually did not get the job the first time. I had three or four other interviews at different jobs on campus and then in January of 2018 I got a call from the assistant manager of Transportation Solutions who is my boss now asking if I was still interested in the job. And then I went through the whole background check process, actually signed all the paperwork and everything so that's how I ended up working where I'm working. Now I want to talk about what I like about it, what I don't like about it, the pros, the cons, and all of that good stuff because that's probably what all of you are wondering if you're thinking about working on campus. So obviously the number one pro is that it's on campus and because it's on campus, they know that you're a student. They're usually pretty flexible with your hours and your school schedule. Right now my schedule is kind of weird because some of my classes are kind of spread apart. I always work from about three to five every day. I work all day on Friday and then I work a few mornings, a few mid-afternoon times, but that's just because of my class schedule right now. I used to go to school on Tuesday and Thursday and work on all of the other days. But I unfortunately couldn't get that kind of schedule this semester. The second pro for me is that I'm genuinely interested in transportation. I don't own a car so I take sustainable forms of transportation pretty much everywhere that I go and I really like helping students out with transportation. It just makes me happy knowing that I'm doing something to better the world. The third pro which I think might just be because I work at Associated Students and that's we have a lot of professional development opportunities. We have workshops on career development and interview skills and even my bosses really care about my future and they encourage me to do well in school and go to grad school and I feel like they really want me to be successful in life. They obviously care about the work that I do when I'm actually at work but they care about my life beyond that which is really awesome. Another pro for me is that the department I work in is really small. There's a manager, a manager, a part-time employee, and then four student assistants. So I don't work with that many people and I really know my coworkers well and we get along well and we're just willing to help each other out most of the time. Another thing that I really like about my job is that we get to do a lot of outreach and I've also started to do some government relations. So we table at orientation and during the first few weeks of school and we also have different events like bike to school day throughout the year. So we get to go out and table and talk to members of the SJSU community who might not normally walk into our office and ask for help, which is really cool. And also as a lot of you know, I've been going to a lot of VTA board meetings and I've been involved in a lot of advocacy. And I actually set up a community meeting with VTA for students and faculty members that happened last Last Tuesday and it went really well. It was standing room only and I got interviewed by Channel 2 and the Spartan Daily. So it was really awesome. That's probably one of the coolest things that I've been able to do through my job. If you want to check out the Channel 2 story and the Spartan Daily article, I'll link both of them down below. Before I started working at TS, I was kind of scared to go to board meetings. I would go to a lot of community meetings, but board meetings always really intimidated me. For last October or November, a route that about a thousand students used every single day was about to be changed and my boss really encouraged me to go to a board meeting and stand up for students and faculty members. And even though we didn't get the decision that we wanted, I'm still really glad that I went. I learned so much from the process and it just really gave me the confidence to go to other board meetings. I've been to all the board meetings so far this year and I've given a public comment every single one of them. And that's not something that I would have had the confidence to do or really felt the need to do if it wasn't for my job and for all the students that rely on these routes. Another thing that I love about my job is that most of the people there really care about transportation, so we talk a lot about transportation policy and things like that. And I've learned so much from my bosses and my coworkers. And it's something that I'm really interested in now. I actually decided to take a public policy class this semester because of one of my coworkers. So in a way, my job helped me to discover an interest that I probably wouldn't have had otherwise. So those are all the pros that I can think of. There's so many great things about my job. I love my coworkers. I love 
being able to advocate for sustainable transportation and I love being able to help students and staff members with trip planning and getting set up with their smart passes which are on these clipper cards. I think it's safe to say that there's a lot more pros to my job than there are cons but there are a few cons that I do want to talk about. The first con is that we're only open from 8 to 5 Monday to Friday so during that time period pretty much every day I'm either working or in class which sometimes annoys me when I want to go to other meetings or do other things. Another con that's somewhat related is since we open at 8 a.m. and it takes me about an hour to get there using transit, I have to wake up at 5.55 whenever I'm opening, which is not very fun because while it's not hard for me to wake up early, it's really hard for me to go to sleep early. So I end up getting pretty sleep deprived when I have to be at work at eight a few days in a row. Another con, which is kind of a pretty minor thing, is that they don't have any Macs at my work, so I do have to use PCs, unfortunately, which was a really hard adjustment because I've never owned a PC in my entire life. I've always been using Macs, so I don't really like that, but hopefully someday I'll be able to buy a bunch of new Macs for my work so that all of the future student assistants don't have to suffer with PCs. The last and final con, which I think is gonna be a con no matter what job you have, is rude customers. Most of the time, people are pretty nice to us, but occasionally people will argue with us about the cost of certain passes, replacement fees for clipper cards or VTA service changes and they can be really hard on us and really mean even though we don't really have a lot of control over the policies because a lot of our policies are set by the other companies and organizations that we have contracts with. So those are the main pros and cons of working on campus, at least in my opinion. If you do happen to go to SJSU, be sure to check out Transportation Solutions if you haven't already. You can get a Smart Pass Clipper card from us that has a VTA regular pass loaded onto it. So you can ride VTA regular and rapid buses and light rails as many times as you want for the entire time that you're at SJSU. And you only have to pay $3 for the card itself, so it's an amazing value. I use this thing every single day and it saved me thousands and thousands of dollars. We also have 50% discounted 20 ride and monthly passes for the ACE train. The ACE train travels from Stockton to San Jose, so if you live anywhere between those two places, then definitely check out the ACE train because it's probably a lot less exhausting than driving and you can sleep on the train or study on the train or watch Netflix on the train. For those of you that aren't commuting from very far, we have bike enclosures on campus. So if you're interested in any of those things, be sure to come to my work. We're on the first floor of the student union all the way at the end past the bookstore. So come visit us or email us at transportation at sjcu.edu and let me know if you have any questions about transportation down in the comments below or if you have any other questions about my job or working on campus. I think that's pretty much everything that I want to say in this video. So it's the future now, I'm editing the video and I just realized that I forgot to talk about what nonprofit I'm supporting this month. If you've been watching my videos for a few years, you probably know about this nonprofit already, but this month I'm supporting Second Harvest Food Bank. I actually recently started volunteering with them again because of my nutrition class at school. And I think that they're a really important nonprofit to support because they help a lot of people. So be sure to check them out and donate if you can. The link will be in the description below. And now back to me from the past. But thank you all so much for watching. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.